Good morning, good morning, my precious brothers and sisters. How are all of you precious people of God doing on this morning? And we are getting ready to go into our new series. Our new series this week is coming from the book of Psalms. Some of, the, some of me and my wife's favorite Psalms that have ministered to us over the years. God have used these scriptures to really strengthen us in some of our toughest trials and tribulations. So we know that these Psalms are going to minister to you as well. And on this morning, I'm talking about your enemy will fall into his own trap. Your enemy will fall into his own trap. Awesome God. Awesome God. How great. How great thou art. You are God. You are God. We need you this morning. And mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow and worship. Awesome God. Come on, sing it. Awesome God. How great, how great thou art. You are God. You are God. And mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe. Sing it. Of your holy name. Lord, we bow, Lord, we bow, and worship. King of kings, Lord of lords, come on church, sing! King of kings, Lord of lords, everlasting king, savior, redeemer, soon coming king. King of kings, Lord of lords, everlasting king, savior, redeemer, he's awesome, 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 my God is awesome. Awesome, you are awesome. Awesome, awesome, you are awesome. Awesome God, awesome God. How great thou art. You are God. You, you are my God. And mighty are your miracles. I stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow. Come on, let's sing it again. Awesome God, sing it. Awesome God. How great, how great thou art. You are God. You are God, and mighty are your miracles. I stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow, Lord, we bow and were. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as we go into the book of Psalms on this morning, this entire week, minister to your people, encourage them. Let them realize that you are God who fights for your children. You fight for your people. You care about us. We are the apple of your eyes this morning. Minister to your people, I pray. In Jesus' name. Someone say, Amen. Now look, on this morning, I want to take you into the book of Psalms, chapter 57. I'll tell you what. Now this was not one of my favorite Psalms up until lately. I tell you what. We just needed this word, and as I read this scripture, I just felt led by the Holy Ghost to read over Psalms 57. And as I went over it, it really got into my spirit. And I know if it's if it has been a blessing to us, it will certainly bless you. So without any further hesitation, let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter 57, verses 1 through 9. David said, Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy. I look to you for protection. I will hide beneath the shadow of your wings until the danger passes by. This is when King Saul and the entire army of Israel was in hot pursuit to kill David. 
the faithful David who would kill Goliath and set the nation free. Now King Saul, because of his jealousy and animosity towards David, he wanted to kill David. And this is when David prayed this prayer. Listen to verse two. David said, I cry out to God most high, to God who will fulfill his purpose for me. David said, I cry out to God most high, to God who will fulfill his purpose for me. Listen, I don't care what's coming against you. God is going to fulfill his purpose for you. Listen to this. David said in verse three, he will send help from heaven to rescue me, disgracing those who hound me. My God will send forth his unfailing love and faithfulness. Got to read that again. David said he will send help from heaven to rescue me, disgracing those who hound me. You know those folk who are after you? They want to bring you down so bad. They want to destroy you. They're willing to lie. They're willing to do whatever it takes to bring you down. Well, listen, God is about to disgrace them because God is sending help. Are you hearing me? Help is on the way, friend. God is about to disgrace those who are hounding you. Listen to verse four. David said, I am surrounded by fierce lions who greatly devour human prey, whose teeth pass like spears and arrows, whose tongues cut like swords. I tell you what, words are powerful. I don't care what nobody say. Even the Bible says life and death are in the power of the tongue. Someone's words can build you up or break you down. Listen to verse five. Be exalted, O God, above the highest heavens. May your glory shine over all the earth. I love this verse six. My enemies have set a trap for me. I am weary from distress. That's how I felt this week. They, they have dug a deep pit in my path. Oh, but I love the end of verse six. But they themselves have fallen into it. Wow. Remember the men who lied on Daniel and had Daniel thrown to the lion's den? Guess what? Daniel was spared. God sent his angel by night and delivered Daniel. And the king said, bring those wicked men who lied on Daniel. And they were fed to their own lions. That's the kind of God we serve on this morning. David said, my enemies have set a trap for me. Listen, friends, the devil works through people to get to us. He is, he is prowling and attacking all of us that are serving God faithfully. You know, people say, well, I don't understand why they are attacking me. Really? Hello? You are, you are in the middle of a, of a war. That's like being, that's like being at war and, and guns are going off and you are saying, why are they shoot, why are they shooting at you? They're trying to wipe you out. You are the enemy. Is, does that make sense? We, we are caught up in a war. The kingdom of darkness is going against the kingdom of God. But I got good news for you this morning. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. No weapon formed against you is going to prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, it shall be condemned because this is the heritage of the servants of God and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. So listen to this. David said, my heart is confident in you, O God. My heart is confident. No wonder I can sing your praises. Wake up, my heart. Wake up, O liar and harp. I will wake the dawn with my song. I will thank you, Lord, among the people. I will sing your praises among the nations. Your enemies, friend, have fallen into their own trap. Awesome God. Awesome God. Come on, saints. How great how I, you are God. You are God. And mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
I cover every child of God under the sound of my voice that's experiencing the attacks of the enemy coming through people. Those people that's attacking your, your saints, God. Let them fall into their own traps. Let them be fed to their own lives. Let the fiery furnace consume them like it did the men who grab a hold of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to throw them in. Defend your people. God arise and let your enemies be scattered. Friends, I cover you this morning in the name of Jesus. God is on your side. And if God be for us, who can be against us? Shut down the plans of the enemy that's coming against them, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, give them victory. Give them breakthrough. Give them a supernatural turnaround. In the mighty name of Jesus. Listen here, friends. I want to invite you guys to go ahead and sow seed into the ministry. Stand with us. Support the work of God. You can visit us online, seanpinder.net forward slash give. Sow seed into the ministry. We can't do this without your help. If you want to give through the ministry PayPal account, that information is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. If you prefer to mail in your donations, make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas, 75011-7442. And listen, I want to say this. We have an announcement here. I will be in Nassau, Bahamas, December the 8th and the 9th. I will be in Nassau, Bahamas. I will be at Kingdom Ambassadors World Outreach Church with Pastor Joshua and Pastor Grace Eswego. I will be at Kingdom Ambassadors Church December the 8th and the 9th. The service times are 6.30 p.m. nightly. Are you listening to me? So I'm inviting you to be a part of that conference. The church address is Sunrise Paradise, Farrington Road in Nassau, Bahamas. Sunrise Paradise, Farrington Road in Nassau, Bahamas. For directions to the church, you can call 242-356-6257. 242-356-6257. We also want to give you an invitation to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the red and white subscribe button at the bottom right of this video. We also give you an invitation to join our Facebook group. It's called I Believe in Miracles. So you send us a request and we'll be happy to accept you into our Facebook group. And remember Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy, we love you so much. And on tomorrow, of course, I will be sharing our favorite Psalms, Psalm chapter 23. The Lord is my shepherd. He is also your shepherd, but the Lord is my shepherd. So don't forget to tune in to tomorrow morning broadcast. Me and Pastor Amy, we love you very much. We want to say God bless you. Looking forward to being with you again on tomorrow. Take care now. Bye-bye.